Who puts the blood in gladiator? Huh, kill me. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today we have Christian. Hi. He's back. I'm back. Finally. And today we're going to talk about Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> Hercules is directed by Brian Clements and John Lasker, both of whom I've covered in previous videos that we will link in the description. The cinematography was done by Rasul Asadani, who is best known for Pocahontas, Princess and the Frog, Aladdin, and this. Six of the supervising animators I'm about to talk about already have been covered in previous videos. They'll be listed and linked in the description. Supervising animators include Richard Bosley, and he's most known for The Centurion Resurrection, The Chimerian, Last Treasure Hunt, and The Iron Giant. Nancy Bateman, best known for Treasure Planet, A Goofy Movie, Fantasia 2000, and this. Brian Ferguson is best known for The Princess and the Frog, Aladdin, Treasure Planet, and this. Randy Haycock, best known for Tarzan, Atlantis, Princess and the Frog, and this. James Lopez is best known for Hullabaloo, Princess and the Frog, The Lion King, and this. Dominique Monferry, known for On Flying Water, Destino, A Goofy Movie, and Atlantis. Richard Purdom is best known for Fantasia 2000, Valiant, Mr. Bean, the Animated Series, and this. Michael Show, known for Aladdin, Princess and the Frog, Treasure Planet, and this. Oscar <coughs> Uretabiskaya, I'm what so sorry say? for that. It's best known for Ant-Man, Venom, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Avengers Infinity War. The film is edited by Tom Finnan and Robert W. Headland. Tom Finnan is best known for Pet Cemetery, Platoon, Gremlins, and this. Robert W. Headland, known for Megamind, House of a Thousand Corpses, How to Train Your Dragon, and this. The music and lyrics are by Alan Menken and David Zippel. Alan Menken, I covered it in the video about the Little Mermaid League, will be in the description. David Zippel, known for Mulan, Captain America, The First Avenger, Match Point, and this. The film is written by Ron Clemens, John Musker, Don McEnery, Bob Shaw, and Irene Mackey, Ron, John, and Irene. I've all covered previous videos listed in the link in the description. Don McEnery, known for A Bug's Life, Seinfeld, Hercules the Animated Show, and this. Bob Shaw is best known for A Bug's Life, Boo Zeno, and the Snurks, Hercules the Animated Series, and this. The story is based loosely off of Heracles, the Roman version of Hercules, but they gave him his Greek name and just made it Greek themed. Shall we compare? And now, the story of Hercules. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Heracles. Heracles was born. One day, vice and virtue give him the choice between a pleasant, easy life or a severe but glorious life. He picks severe and glorious, obviously. He marries Megara, but Hera tricks him into killing her and his children. He does this really famous thing where he performs 12 quests. Not a big deal, don't worry about it. He also has a lot of other adventures and stuff. Deonaria unknowingly gives Heracles a poison shirt and he dies. The end. The film stars Tate Donovan, Josh Keaton, Danny DeVito, James Woods, Susan Egan, Bobcat Goldthwaite, Matt Frewer, Rip Torn, and Roger Bart. Tate Donovan plays Hercules and is best known for Argo, Shooter, Manchester by the Sea, and this. Josh Keaton plays young Hercules. He's best known for Voltron Legendary Defender, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, and Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Danny DeVito plays Phil and is best known for Matilda, Throw Mama from the Train, The War of the Roses, and Batman Returns. James Woods plays Hades and he's best known for Vampires, Videodrome, The Virgin Suicides, and this. Susan Egan plays Meg and she's best known for Spader Away, Steven Universe, Man of the Century, and this. Bobcat Goldthwaite, who plays Pain, is also known for <laughs> Shakes the Clown, God Bless America, World's Greatest Dad, and Scrooged. Matt Frewer plays Panic and is best known for Pixels, Watchmen, Dawn of the Dead, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Rip Torn, who plays Zeus, best known for Men in Black, Freddy Got Fingered, The Larry Sanders Show, and Dodgeball. Roger Bart plays the same voice of young Hercules, and he's best known for the producers, American Gangster, and this. In 1992, they held a giant pitch meeting and someone pitched the idea of covering the Odyssey in an animated feature. And that actually was picked up and went into production, but soon after they realized that it was really hard to kind of find a through line and an interesting enough, like, straightforward plot from the complicated story that is the Odyssey, and it was abandoned. Joe Hader was skeptical to pitch the Hercules movie after the Odyssey pitch failed, so he actually made a pitch sketch. The pitch was successful, and then Joe Hader gave an outline, and that's where his involvement in the film stopped. Clemens and Muskert finished Aladdin and then jumped back into the Treasure Planet. Jeffrey Hitzenberg didn't approve of Treasure Planet, 
he really didn't like that they were working on it, so he decided to make them a deal and said if they worked on Hercules, after Hercules, he would green light Treasure Planet. Hercules was modeled after Jamie Stewart and Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, and Meg was modeled after Barbara Stanwyck and Lady Eve and Meet John Doe. After consulting many Greek mythology experts and interpreters, Disney decided <laughs> to not tell the original Hercules story because Zeus has Hercules out of wedlock and Oof. cheats on Hera and there's a bunch of drama with Hera trying to kill Hercules and all kinds of stuff. So they decided to change it up and make it a little bit more family friendly. Yeah, it would have been more mommy dearest since there are more Hercules. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Comedy writers were brought in, but Musker and Clements realized that Hercules was Michael Jordan at this time. Donny Osmond was considered for the role of Hercules, but then they realized his voice was probably a little bit too deep. Also, a uh, little fun fact, in the Spanish version, Hercules is voiced, and I'm pretty sure he does a singing part too, by Ricky Martin. I will assume. Yeah. <laughs> he can sing. Sense. Right. <laughs> That's the best. Living is he... Loca. Does he... Although, does Ricky Martin voice... Young Hercules, because Young Hercules is the one to sing. That's true. I don't. Maybe, maybe he does. Maybe he does. I don't remember. I just know that he's involved in the project as the voice of Hercules, but I'm not. Hmm. In which because if he's I older Hercules, he might not do the singing. That's true. So he might have been be young Hercules. older Hercules. That makes that makes more sense. Yeah, actually, yeah. So interesting, yeah. but that's yeah, cool. He, he voices pretty them. fire. They had Danny DeVito in mind for Phil, but he originally declined. So they auditioned Ed Asner, Ernest Borgnine, <laughs> Dick Latessa, and Red Buttons. Red Buttons, when he was auditioning, said, "Oh, please, you're gonna cast Danny DeVito in this role. It's not for me." And then they tried again, and they had lunch with Danny DeVito on the set of Matilda, and during that lunch, he decided to sign for the role. Ever since Beauty and the Beast came out, Susan Egan had been trying to audition for different Disney movies. Um, eventually, she did get casted as Beauty in Beauty and the Beast Broadway. Um, when she heard about Hercules, she tried to audition, but Alan... Mankin. Mankin. But... She tried to audition, but Alan Mankin said no because she was too sweet. Eventually, she did get the chance to audition, and nine months, right, nine months later, she got the part. They didn't know who to cast for Hades, and Dan DeVito actually said, you should ask Jack Nicholson. So they're like, oh, that's a great idea. So they did. Jack Nicholson wanted 10 to $15 million and 50% of all Hades merchandising profits. And Disney said, that's a hard pass. Let's find someone else. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, Jack Nicholson wasn't messing around. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Oh my God. So they ended up with John Lithgow. But after nine months of working with him, they said he didn't have the right time. So they ended up letting him go. So many actors auditioned for Hades and they just couldn't land. Finally, James Woods came in and auditioned and they were shocked at what he did with the role it wasn't what they expected and they were like wow we actually really love that and he got cast gerald scarf was asked to be the production designer and produce drawings for the animators in the style they wanted and he ended up producing over 700 drawings in july of 1995 a bunch of crew went on the research trip to greece and they studied ancient greek uh, art and just took everything in and then Sue Nichols actually made a bunch of reference charts combining both scarf style and the ancient Greek style to get the style that we know for Hercules. Andreas Dacia normally animates villains and he was asked to animate Hades but he actually requested to animate Hercules and we ended up with this stud. <laughs> Hades's body was hand drawn but his hair and his fire was computer animated and the animator who worked with hey, art created Hades, supervised Hades, then would go to the computer animators and say, this is exactly what I want his hair or flames to be doing in this moment. Hercules was released in June 1997. It had an $85 million budget and it made $252.7 million in the box office. It has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes. The consensus was pretty much, it doesn't measure up to the classics, but it's still amazingly fun and it was nominated for Best Original Song for Go The Distance, obviously. Didn't win, though, so. Also, a musical is coming out sometime in the future. And then in April 2020, a live action remake was announced. As far as the musical, when I went and saw Alan Menken in concert with Regina and Selena, 
he actually played a sneak peek of music from Hercules, and it was amazing. So Hercules, you love this movie. I love this you movie. You wanted so, to be in this video so, so bad. bad. <laughs> I requested it so long ago. Yes, but you did. It. I don't know. For me, it's it's very much a coming of age story. Which, duh. But like the whole like having to fight your way to go the distance, <laughs> you know, by yeah. yourself. It's like very much like a personal anecdote to my life. So like, sure. it makes me cry for time. Uh -huh. um, I really like this movie. I actually watched this very little when I was young. I didn't really? watch that it a lot. Sense. I feel like I probably saw it once when I was little. And then I don't think I saw it again until I lived in California and was like, hey, I should watch her. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> like, I knew the music and sure. I knew the story, of sure. course, because, you know, I just grew up knowing right. Disney. So. But when in California, when I watched it, I was like, yo, yo why did I, like, not like this movie? Hercules. This movie is good. <laughs> like, it's fun. It's a fun movie. I get how, like, people don't, like, it's not Beauty and the Beast right. or, you know, freaking yeah, right, right. Aladdin, but. Or Lion King. Oh, my God. But it's still excellent. It's a good story. It's so good. It's the muses are everything. <laughs> My favorite part. Yeah. They just are the best. And Hercules is a very relatable character that you can Absolutely. invest in. And Absolutely. Meg, I don't think any other person on the face of the earth could make thanks her or Wonder Boy. It's been a real slight <laughs> so sound natural and good other than Susan Egan. No, I don't think not anyone at all. because anytime you try to say that, no, it's been a real, a real slight. slight. You know, like I sound stupid, but yeah. she sounds totally fine She's and normal so saying good. stuff yeah. like that. Killing it. She's amazing. But what I really love about this movie besides obviously like go the distance and stuff like that are some of the freaking jokes <laughs> that just like <laughs> are definitely like you're not getting when right. you're a little like I haven't been in a room full of this much love since Narcissus <laughs> discovered himself. Like that line is so incredible. And what was the line that you noticed? And I was like, oh my God, I didn't notice that the last time I was watching it. IXII? Yes, IXII. They're like, someone call IXII, which is 911. That's hysterical. And how he's autographing with <laughs> yeah. a stone and stone and, uh, hammer and point or whatever. Yeah, and there's another one. There's a million of them. Yeah. I have I have a couple, I think. Indoor plumbing. Indoor plumbing's gonna Indoor be big. plumbing joke is hilarious. Um, the Chinese theater cement moment. <laughs> the air herc sandals. The drink. Herc. He tastes so sweet. What are those? <laughs> what are those? The original what are those? The OG. Um... Yeah, all of those, like, subtle jokes and just, like... And the entirety of Zero to Hero just has so many, like... Oh, right. Funny, like, they took a modern-day thing and were like, Haha, you know what this hey, is, hey, but, like, you know. here you go. <laughs> you know, Air Hurt, it was, like, right... At, I mean, that's how influential the Bulls and Michael Jordan were right. in the time that they were making oh Hercules because the three-peat happened. I hope that for the live-action remake... I hope they don't, they don't mess up the music. Like, I hope they're in there, or like, maybe, or if they're not in there, I hope that there's like, I don't know. I feel they like they have to, though, because like, it's a no. Greek, they might try to be, pay yeah. a little more respect yeah. to the Because like with Mulan, you know, they're original. not Yeah, but well, them. Mulan, they eviscerated that original yeah, story. Like, at least with Hercules, it's still like, he's yeah. doing some of the stuff he was right, doing. Right, right. They just changed the whole out of wedlock oh, cheating right. moment oh, yeah, and a lot of know, death. Can't have that. <laughs> can't have <laughs> they that. They changed a lot of that, but otherwise, yeah, he did a bunch of his trials. And he stuff. did. He did. So, yeah, they, it was just they, they added a love story, yeah. even though Hercules marries like two people. <laughs> yeah, he does. Because Romans like... were real progressive for their time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a movie I'm fine getting a live action. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lion King was stupid. No. Why would you do that? And then. There's another one that I'm like, please don't do this. <laughs> like Robin Hood people are like, oh, they should do a Robin Hood live action. And I'm like, no, that's more animal. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, Treasure Planet might be good live action. I think Treasure Planet would be an excellent live action remake. Or Atlantis, because that. Atlantis, know, I also agree. On that one. I also agree that would be an excellent live action remake. Hercules, I think, could be fun. Like all ones that have people in it. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't do an animal. Like what? Are you... <sighs> Stupid. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope they do it. Right? I, I feel I like they so have so. to do the I muses so because too. the muses is supposed it's to be like a whole Greek choir and the movie is Greek. Like it's yeah. 
yeah. based in Grecian times, ancient Greek, you know, like the Greek chorus was a thing. So of it, course yeah. that's the whole point of the muses and they have to, they have to keep them. the glad and gladiator. <laughs> Who put the glad and gladiator? Give me. I get goosebumps during the opening music oh, when course. it's fading up and doing the Hercules logo. Oh. Because then he he does like a tease of almost every song in the underscore because Alan Menken is. <laughs> and so it does like a da 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 da, and you're like, oh, pretty, like in the brass, yeah. and then it 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 comes down as it's showing Mount Olympus, and you hear. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, <laughs> setting up go to this, eh? it's so good. It is. So good. Uh, Jim Cummings is like 30 side characters in this movie. <laughs> I can't handle it. Jim Cummings is in everything. everything. He is unstoppable. Every TV show I watch a movie for, it's like, oh, Jim Cummings is like three characters in this. <laughs> and then I watch a main movie like this, and he's like four side characters in this. He's the freaking centaur, creepy yeah. dude. He's the old the man. Garden. He's the other big dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, freaking Jim Cummings, why are you so many characters? Zero to Hero is the best song. I love in Zero to Hero that there's a little like moment where he shows that he took care of his parents and got them a nice house. That, house. that was like, because Dream. I... For me, I kept being like, what's going on with his parents? Like, does he just right. never talk right. to them again? Because I haven't watched the movie a lot. So when I saw that brief moment in Zero to Hero, I was like, he took care of his parents. And then at the end, they're there and he hugs them. And that's really wonderful. Meg backing up into Cupid. Oof. And then turning and seeing Cupid and being like, yeah. oh, oh, no. oh, no. Been struck. So good. Love that moment. Um, Hercules putting her sleeve back up. Yeah, he's choking I'm up. Like, I'm like, dang, we Such love a, a respectful gentleman. king. Yes. We stand. Yes. We stand yes. Hercules being a respectful king. <laughs> Phil obviously always doing the two words for you, and then it's like <laughs> either one word or three words or whatever. Yeah. I love when Hercules does it to him. <laughs> he says two words for you, duck, <laughs> and it's only the one. Yeah, well, I'm like, I love that Hercules learned that and did it to him. Michael Bolton. At the end, coming through. Um, listen, some credit pop versions of, like, songs like Beauty and the Beast, mm. the pop version of Beauty and the Beast ain't it! <laughs> okay? <laughs> Ew! It's not good! Right when the credits start for that movie, it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and everyone's like, oh, God, no, 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 <laughs> click it off. Skip. Michael Bolton singing Go the Distance, wrecked every <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. So good. Incredible. But it's Michael, Michael Bolton. Bolton. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Watching it as a kid, it was always... Like, it's hard to describe, but watching that montage of like, go the distance, you know, that whole scene. His one song. Yeah, like his his one song where he's like, going through trials and tribulations, you know. I, I've never known what it is, but I knew it was, like, I knew it when I knew it, you know. But I always knew that it was going to be like, you'll get there someday. Cute. You know, and yeah. so that's why this movie like, holds such a special place in my heart, you know? Like, yeah. Growing up, like, I have siblings, but growing up by myself, basically. You know, well, your siblings like, are so much older so than you, so, so. Of course you pretty much grow yeah, up. Yeah, it was very much like, uh, all right, either sink or swim, you know? So that's why this movie, like, like, he always talks about, even when he wants to give up, he's like, nah, like, we're gonna keep going. Well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> even the scene where it's like, "Sorry, there was nothing we could do," <laughs> and Hercules is like, "Bet." Right. Yeah, he's like, "Hold." Never mind. Right. Underworld, here I come. Hades. I can catch it. <laughs> Honestly, it's going down. <laughs> and then you're. <laughs> also, I've always been like a, a fan of Greek and Roman mythology. So oh like, yeah, of course. Well, you know, just right up my alley when this came out. So it's like, yes. Yeah. Huh, you were what, you were like six when this came out. Wow, prime time for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, watching in Spanish and I watch it in English. Well, I've watched it many times in English, but yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Do you prefer a version? No. I like them both. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Are there any differences? Other the, than I mean, <laughs> speaking in Spanish. Yeah. Um no, it's it's pretty I mean, pretty similar. You know, the songs get changed, you know, to make sense for the translation, you know, the lyrics of the songs. But other than that, no, like, it's, it's the same. Hmm. Nothing's, like, edited out, because I know some countries are like, yeah, no, we're not Honestly, I don't remember. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Do you have a favorite character besides Hercules? 
I like Hercules, Abby. Um, kind of a really big fan of Hades, too. Yeah, he's a great character. You know? Yeah. As much as we do not stand James Woods, you know, we, yes. we stand Hades. He's funny. Also because, you know, like in... And this is something that kind of irks me every time they talk about Hades. Because he's depicted not as a mean person. He's actually, like, a very kind person in, like, the in, mythology. In the mythology, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, people think that he's an evil person. or No, like, he's... It's because he just they, got assigned the they job put the their biblical world. version yeah. of Hades yeah, exactly. on him, yeah. so they think he's Lucifer. Right, right. Yeah, he's but really he not, ain't. Yeah, he's he's just the brother he's of just, Zeus who's yeah, in charge of the yeah. underworld. Yeah. Hades is you? a good character. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Besides Hercules, who's my fave? The muses. Oh, we have to. Well, yeah, the muses are incredible. Yeah. We have to mention the Scar Easter egg. Oh, yeah. Just so make sure that gets out the way. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Meg. I love Meg. Okay, sure. But I'm probably also 80s, if not Pain and Panic. Because okay. they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If is good. <laughs> if is good. Hades at the end of the credits. You can hear him talking, saying, what, everyone gets a happy ending except me? <laughs> can anyone hear me? Am I talking into a void? Hello? <laughs> Echo? Like, yeah. it's pretty funny. One of my favorite songs, too, is when Meg is... Fighting, admitting that she's in love with I won't say I'm in yeah, love. That no song. chance, no and way. And she's just like, I no. Won't say and then finally she's no, like, you know what? No. Just not out loud. <laughs> I won't say it out loud. <laughs> and she sings it out loud. Yeah. I love the muses in that song when they oh, yeah. when they snap and they go, Who the heck you kidding? <laughs> He's the earth and heaven yeah. to you. Like, it's just so good. They're like, hey, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, but we can see You love him. <laughs> you want to marry <laughs> him. <laughs> Only in the Christian way. <laughs> I did cry when I watched this. Oh, yeah. yeah every um, time. Mine was, I cried when the pillar fell on Meg and his scream. When he Ooh. screamed, no! I was like, Tate Donovan came <laughs> out for that scream. And then he was like holding her and he was like really emotional. And I was like... He said, I will dive into the depths of Hades. Well, he goes to fight back. at Olympus first and yeah. then comes back and she dies. So when like, he screamed like that, I was like, he convinced me. He did a really good job. I always cry. Yeah. During Go the distance. Go the distance. Every time. I got Every super, time. when I was watching it, I got super emotional during Go the distance, but no tears fell. What would you rate it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10, 10, 10 what? Should we do? Heroes? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Air Herc <laughs> sandals? Herc. Air Herc sandals? Is that what we should do it? Sure. Okay, 10 out of 10 Air Herc sandals. Mine's 10. 9. My final rating is 9 sandals out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Our total movie count is... 19. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine <laughs> that we're in? <laughs> It's 400 something, thank you very much. Okay. Um, uh, our cry count is. <laughs> Parent Total is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching, when follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching, when I put up videos every Monday and Friday, and sometimes Wednesday. Follow Christian on Instagram. He's pretty dope. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Join Patreon because cool things happen over there all the time. Absolutely. Also. This might get cut out, but buy merch! Buy it! There's merch now! Go buy the merch. It's gonna be ill. Go buy the merch. Please. Please. Okay, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and don't try if you are, see you, and definitely don't be Hades about it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm making them dance. <clears throat> yeah, make them, make them, like, fly. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, what? Uh oh. Oh no. my god. Just got wrecked. Just got wrecked. Fresh cookies. Oh, Thanks, Mom. Smell. Thanks. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Mm. A crunchy. Oh my god.